Okay guys, we're back again. So we're going to show you how to lap these valves. Um, this is the exhaust valve. And uh, basically what we're doing here is just getting some of this paste. And I'm just using the fine because these are new valves and they don't need much. And you just put a little bit on all around. And a little bit on the seat. Now it's important that you don't let any of this stuff down into the engine because this is cutting paste and you just drop the valve in there and then you use your, your lapping tool. They don't they don't need too much because these are pretty new so and you'll hear a little rough sound and all you're doing is turning and then you're twisting and turning again basically like you're starting a fire. And you can hear the sound go a little bit high pitched. I will have a look at this one. You basically take away the stuff. Basically, you're looking for A kind of a dull edge all around where it has met contact with this metal. So I'm not sure I usually use just to check it out. Not sure how good that'll come out. Basically you're looking for a dull edge all around, nice and clean. This one could do it another little bit. So I'm going to drop it in again, put another little bit of paste on. And once these are lapped in, you mark them and they stay on, you don't move them. This isn't the very best of a lapping tool, it seems to me. And you just keep doing this until you get a nice... No, you don't overdo it either. That's the other thing. You've got to be uh, a bit careful that you don't go mad. Just do enough to get a nice little dull edge all around. And you know that it's making good a good seal. Uh, looks good. It looks good on a new valve. You can see where it's uh, where the where it's gone. The paint has gone from it, so that makes it look good. And as I say, most important thing then is when you're finished is to mark one, two, three, four on this, and then I have two marked out here. This side on this face. So I have one, two, three, four marked here so that I don't lose track. And one, two, three, four here. And basically just go along, do the whole lot. And just take it nice and easy. And don't let any paste down into it. Okay, that's it for now. We'll get them in. Then I'll show you how to put the springs on and get them set.